A super team is a team of three or more individual teams from the same league. The main objective is to let individual teams work with teams from other countries, regions and other cultures. It is our wish that through these efforts, teams will learn and excel together and possibly continue exchanges beyond this event. Participants in the super team are required to contribute on teamwork and knowledge sharing, regardless of culture, age or result in the competition. All are expected to compete, learn, have fun, and grow up. Hello everyone, my name is Teresa Sosadewa and I'm a member of Super 503 team, International Invitational Team with an original team ID of ID5020. Pleased to meet you everyone. Communications. I'll start from the beginning then. We go back to the 29th of May, 8am GMT, an hour before the competition starts. My expectations were quite appropriate considering it's a uh, five hour competition and I wasn't expecting much in the way of communications or talking be between team members at first. And it's fine, I think. Uh, when I first saw the participant team member list, um, their country of origins um, propose a significant interesting communications uh, challenge uh, to these competitions because well, uh, none of the countries in our time team ha uh, have English as their first language unlike countries such as Singapore for example and although uh, at first, it might seem a bit a hindrance uh, or a challenge that may need to be resolved, but those concerns were largely ignored once the competition starts. At the start of the ice-breaking sessions, we use English-only chat even with the event organizers' suggestions and my fruitless attempts to contact each other through voice chat. Uh, my guess is that their microphones were available or functional at the time of the competition. And after some slow introduction by each member, uh, we voted on a communication method that is by uh, chat only. My guess is because it's easier to translate and understand English through that method and it's faster slash clearer to reply to. And to further improve communications, I propose that we use no, English um, with Japanese and Chinese translations below them which significantly improve response times because it eliminated the need to when there's an and uh, previously uh, uh, unknown word, uh, they can look the translation below and immediately understand what I meant. Programming. Uh, in this section of the video, uh, I'll explain a, a bit about how we plan on programming and what are strategies coming into this competition is uh, personally. Uh, because we have four hours to code, I choose to divide the program into three stages. Uh, first, uh, I make a general purpose program which has rudimentary functions the robot needs to complete this task, such as movement, uh, pickup, and avoidance programs, uh, which only takes a few minutes to code. Uh, second, I, I build up the chassis, if you will, of the program to more suit the map, for example, uh, adjusting the coordinates and compass heading, this is usually done um, for markers and avoidance, 
third run the robot for as much as possible and debug the program whenever needed uh, for the, in this part of the video that part um, I try to analyze what strategies and system that we use besides a few systems we didn't have any fancy programs to keep the complete complexity down and debugging the minimum and most of the system functions such as movement scanning etc has been already explained by other participants and our team members in this video or other videos previously and here i'll try to explain a few of the more advanced systems that we utilize um, uh, on the 29th first link capacity systems or lcas the system is designed to follow the marker more closely uh, as the name stated this is achieved by heavily utilizing the compass heading sensor for example when you, a marker is pointing to the south or 180 degrees you make a program that tells the robot to rotate right if it's heading to the east or rotate left if it's heading to the west until it is pointing roughly to the south and to keep it pointing to the south you make a correction program which tells the robot to rotate left or right when as needed when it exceeds uh, the specified amount of compass heading for in this example it says 5 degrees using the geolocation sensor or the map positioning sensor whatever it's called you can detect the robot when it is in in an undesired position for example in a zone where you often get stuck in a loop or just isn't worth it to scan through uh, for example by measuring your position in relation to the divided position grid x 1 to 3 to sec 2 uh, y 0 to 2 and you will touch this sensor by just turning the robot to rotate 180 degrees or just turn somewhere more advantages this is the two strategies slash systems that we use to better suit the robot programming to the map and in the end it'll come to luck and RNG after all the systems done it usually goes down to those two factors luck and RNG if you get a more populated map then you'll get guaranteed to have a higher score considering all things are equal thank you for listening and let's move on to the segment of the video thank you Hello everyone, my name is Yas Nakula, ID520, Indonesia from Super Falco 3. And I'm going to tell my experience from Super Team Invitational Challenge where different teams from different countries join together to collaborate, to exchange knowledge and to culture to make the ultimate program. The Zoom meeting and communication problems. Before the Zoom meetings, I'm very excited for the collaboration and the opportunity to meet different people in different countries. When it and the ice-breaking session starts, we decided to write in the chat column because at the time it seems easier to do because of the age chat of the other and fluency in English in other countries to make it easier for them to translate and understand instead of speaking, which is faster, although faster, it's harder to catch in the air for someone who is not used to listening in English. This also makes our conversation short and using simple language minimize error in translation. And to make it easier, I decided also to translate my messages into Chinese and Japanese first before sending it for faster communication.